morning has been. This is day 24 of the journey. Uh, easy three miles. Recovering. As in not workout. Um, this week I took the took the governor off, so to speak, because it was a down week, and I definitely opened her up a little bit more today, so I'm going to talk about that. But before I get to that, I want to do two things. First thing I want to do is thank everybody for watching these videos. This is my 24th video of the month. Um, I had never done a YouTube video until January 1st of this year and I've been doing it pretty haphazardly and I have by my last count I believe over 650 views which again in the grand scheme of YouTube is is nothing but is honestly way more than I thought that I would get um, and I'm just you know I looked I had almost 200 unique viewers um, which for me is incredible that 200 people would even accidentally click on my videos, even if they only watch for a second to see what this idiot's going to say and then click away. Um, and I'm just, I'm just blown away by the support. I went from no subscriptions to 14 subscriptions, which again is, is nothing. It's, it's, it's not even enough to, to verify your channel. You need 100 in order to do that. And I'd love to, I, I hope to hit 100. I hope to hit 1,000. I hope to hit a million one day but the fact that 14 people in the first couple of weeks two three weeks of doing this showed enough of an interest to want to follow me and actually track what i do and you know that's that's really great it's it's uh, it's not exactly the same but it's the next best thing to having uh, a team around you to meet with you every morning and support you and um you know you guys showing interest in me and in my journey has definitely helped in the first three weeks uh, to keep me accountable and to keep me checking in with you guys. And for that, I thank you. Uh, I'm really appreciative. And uh, you, know, you guys are great. That being said, I know that there are people watching that have interest that haven't subscribed. I need 100 subscribers to verify my channel. And being able to verify your channel opens you up to extra opportunities. Now, I know these videos aren't particularly high quality, and I know that they're not super interesting if you don't really know, you know, what you're doing in the world of running. Uh, but that's just because it's early, early in the sense that I'm not that fit yet, so I'm not really doing workouts. And because the weather is so nasty, there really is nothing to film. I mean, it's, uh, for example, this morning, it's just a sheet of ice. There's no way that I could run outside, no matter what my fitness is today. So it's an extremely uh, bad environment. It's not conducive to filming or anything like that. But as the weather gets better, as things progress, I do plan on recording some workouts and doing some new training type videos, um, training, plan overviews, that kind of stuff, which I think is gonna strike people's interest a little bit more. So I wanna thank you for being a part of this journey so far. And I wanna ask that you please spread the word, that you like, that you comment, that you share, that you subscribe. I really appreciate it every time I see somebody uh, shares my video. Um, and uh, I can tell you that there are people that I only have vague relationships with, that I only talk to every once in a while, that have really come along with me on this journey. And, and whenever I talk to them, they, you know, they check in with me, they text me, or or whenever they're on a conference call with me, sometimes it's at work, um, you know, they chime in and, and, you know, they share their support and they, you know, let me know that they're watching my videos, that they're holding me accountable. And, you know, I, I really appreciate all that. So I just ask that we continue this momentum. And as the weather gets better, I will commit to you guys, not only to continue with the videos, but to continue uh, trying to increase the quality of my channel to uh, make it worth your your five minutes or your precious 10 minutes when you're you know, on your way into work or taking a break or just you know, sitting on the couch trying to, trying to catch up on all your favorite channels. So thank you very much and I really look forward to where the channel's going.
So for today, we had three miles easy. This was my sandwich recovery day. I had my harder tempo Wednesday that went well. Thursday was a recovery day. Friday, I'm sorry, Saturday, which is tomorrow, is gonna be a recovery day in preparation and probably some strides in preparation for Sunday, which is usually my long run, which as of right now is categorized as a harder run. So I wanted to pick things up a little bit and that doesn't mean that I crush it. That doesn't mean that I, you know, hammer it and that I end hurting. But this is the day of the week where I want to test that easy pace, where I start to want to see a progression in my easy pace coming down. So um, when I do finally invest in a GPS and a heart rate uh, monitor, it'll probably mean a speed limit somewhere around 150 beats per minute. So right now I'm just kind of targeting that from an effort standpoint. So today I decided to open things up a little bit more. I didn't, I didn't take a lax first mile and I didn't stop at 745 pace like I've been doing. Um, I ran three miles in 23 minutes and 10 seconds, which is about 744 uh, average pace. Uh, and I opened with a uh, 752, a what is it, 752, 748, and a 730. That's how I came to my, uh, my 2310. So felt good. I mean, I thought I'd just try to run the first mile fast, faster, and then if I didn't, wasn't feeling up to it, I would, you know, kick it down and relax. But, you know, it took about a mile and a half, but I started to find my groove and I started to relax. And uh, at the end, I took an unofficial heart rate, and it was about, it was between 145 and 150. So I was right inside that speed limit that I talked about being in. So it was a successful day. It's a good sign to see my easy pace slowly coming down. Again, it's a lot like weight loss, right? You don't want to see, you don't want to see somebody lose 20 pounds in one week. Um, you want to see, you know, a couple of pounds, one, two, maybe, maybe three here and there, three pounds a week, and just a nice consistent drop over a, a, a six to 12 month period, depending on you know how much weight you need to lose. So, and that's kind of what I want to see. I don't want to see a, a 20 or a 30 second drop in one week. I want to see, you know, five seconds, three seconds, five seconds, maybe a, a seven seconds. And being at 744, I was running in the low 750s. And that's, that's, you know, right about, right about where you want to be. So, um, felt good. Tomorrow is going to be another easy day with um, some strides. Maybe I'll do six tomorrow, depending on how I feel. I've been doing four the last couple of weeks. We'll see. And then Sunday is going to be a seven mile long run. I have to decide whether I want to do hills again. I'm thinking probably not. I'm thinking probably some kind of a progression run. Maybe some variation on the old uh, Queensbury High School 2020-20 might be a good way to do it. Um, but um, we'll have to see. I will talk about that one tomorrow. And I think that's about all I got today. Good old day 24. Again, the streak continues. The goal is to continue this through the end of January into the beginning of February before I take a day off. Like my old coach used to say, it takes six weeks to make or break a habit. And so I'm trying to make a habit, so I need six weeks. So I really think I have to go through probably Valentine's Day um, or the day after in order to make sure I get a, a good full six weeks in. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope your running is going very well and we will check in again tomorrow.